Hi everybody! It is I, the Dimple Wizard, back again with another exciting, but also mostly just cozy, stream. Here. Today, I have with me the big ol' Corb. They're my little friend for today. <laughs> yes, we are still here at my home. My home home. <laughs> Uh, I'm still, of course, all cozy and everything. I've got my little kind of cutesy little setup here. Um, and I'm back from a nice weekend. Production on the movie's going well. Um, we're pretty close to that being ready to go. Uh, follow my social medias if you want to see the countdown on that. I'm, I'm posting like a big number and, and then I'm having like a little bit of trivia about the movie kind of be posted too. Um, but as for today, we're going to be playing a little bit of Animal Crossing. Have a nice little start to our week here. Um... There's also a chance, I hate this, I hate this so much, but there's a chance this week might be a little messed up by the end because I'm possibly getting my wisdom teeth removed. So, hooray. So just be on the lookout for that. More information will be available later, but hopefully that doesn't impact streams too much. Now let's go take a gander. I really quick just want to see since a couple days have passed. If the rock garden is working out, please have some rocks in here. Please, please, please have a rock. Oh my gosh. Hooray. I'm so happy. Look at that. Two rocks. Already here. This is great. This is fantastic. Let's go do a little survey of the rest of the town. I don't think any other rocks should have spawned, but there's a chance I'm missing one. And if so, gotta find out. Also, wait, let's go say hi to Whitney real quick. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. I've had quite a fun time being at home. Let's say hi to Whitney here. I want to chat. You can't choose your family, but you can choose your furniture, and really, that's most important. Thank you, Whitney, for that wonderful bit of advice. <laughs> Still super proud of this house. I love that she's in here quite often, too. Just shows how much she likes it. Let's go check the, the clothing store, since I think it should still be open. But not for very long, so we'll have to rush on over. And while we rush on over, we can do a quick survey to see if there are any rocks anywhere that they shouldn't be. So far, so good. Let's head on inside and see what our options are for today. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Um, it's nice to finally kind of have a bit of a break. <laughs> Let's see what they've got in here today. <gasps> oh, I think I already have that though. In a different color, maybe. Hmm. They have a little Santa hat, but like, I have that too. They have like a little festive dress, but I have that too. <laughs> I just watched Christmas Vacation for the first time. And that was a really cute movie. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe I could make a little outfit for that here. This is a cute dress, but I don't think it'd be useful for anything. <laughs> I think today I'm gonna do a little challenge where I make like a Christmassy. Um a little Christmas kind of festive portrait for all my villagers. But before I do that, I want to handle like the last of the like the wreaths today. I want to uh, make sure the town is all nice and pretty. Do I actually have room? Oh, I do! That's lovely. 
so let's go check to make sure that there's no other rocks in the town. And while we check for that, let's take a quick stop at Nook's Cranny. Maybe they have something nice in here. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a nice holiday season so far. Ooh, they have that bed I really like. Let's see. Um, Well, I could always use another hanging item, I guess. I will take it. Let's see. I like this little doll. I'm gonna grab that too. I'll also take the mini circuit. I should start prepping for the toy day event. I'd like to do a little stream like that. Hopefully all the houses will be all done up and everything in time. Alright, let's go! I'm glad that we got all those things sorted out today. Let's see, I'm not seeing any rocks around here, so that's good. It's especially tricky, I think because, you know, the snow makes it a little harder to tell at first glance if something's a rock or not. But hopefully this will be okay anyway. Looks like there's no rocks elsewhere. I'm pretty sure I only played this two days ago, so... I was... You know, I was kind of prepped for the worst. I figured something would happen. Ooh! Poppy something. Let's go say hi to Poppy, huh? Her house is super cute. I'm really excited to look at it again. <gasps> She's crafting something. Ah, uh, yes, she's used at the little, uh, little tree workbench. A dark lily wreath. Cool! I guess I'm getting a new DIY recipe today. That's so nice. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, jeez, I'm so close to being done, but then there's always, like, something I can get regardless. Her house is so cozy! And look at this! It's so cute, it's a little sparkly book. <laughs> like, honestly, the... It doesn't get much cuter than this. I love this house. Bye-bye, Poppy! <laughs> now let's go check on, I guess, sort of the rest of the town to make sure that there's no other things happening. We have to decorate Lolly's house soon. Aww, that's cute. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like everything kind of worked out. I don't think there's really any areas left that can be kind of spooky. Let's grab this mail. Oh boy. Ah. Let's see. And I got a new little song, so that'll be cool to add in later. Let's go take a little walk through uh, this little. Look at this! They're all so pretty! A little forest. I love that. I guess let's go see who this mysterious villager is, because... this little bananas. <laughs> oh! Aren't you that, like... Okay, you're Ed. You're not... I thought that was, like, the... the other blue horse that's kind of more popular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Ed. Sorry, Ed, you're not exactly the the person I'm trying to replace Nate with. So, 
would have been interesting. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't look like there's any rocks up here, so that means everything is kind of taken care of. But I did see, out of the corner of my eye just now, a little mysterious ship. So we're gonna go have, uh, have to check that out. Hi Peyton! Welcome back to the stream. Today's a magical day. Because apparently, uh, we've got... We've got red here. And also my rock garden's good, I've got two rocks. Oh no. I'm guessing you just finished school too. <laughs> I just got my final grade in today, so that made me happy. Okay. I guess I'll start by looking at this. Better grab my... Whoop. Wild painting right hand. Yeah, all my grades are in 2Bs and then A so far. Yeah, I had, uh... My grades are in... At this point, I had like 2Bs and 3As or so. So I'm happy about that. Let's see. Wild painting right half. Oh boy, let's see how this is. <gasps> oh, I can tell immediately that's, that's fake. Yeah. Okay. We'll check the next painting then. What's this one? Sinking painting. Ooh! Sinking painting. Real versus fake. Oh! There is no fake one for the sinking painting. Well, I guess I'll take it. That makes me happy. The other two should be done tomorrow, I hope. Yeah, I hope those grades come in. I also want to buy this thing, just cause. Kind of pricey, but you know, I know it's like a recoloring, but I just... It looks cool! <laughs> Let's see. Alright, bye bye Red. We're gonna go up seas now. We're gonna go... Uh... See how good the rest of my island's holding up during this little time. Let's also go visit Blanche, because uh, her house has also been redecorated. Uh, I love that she has like a little Japanese wreath. I, I feel like that's just a cute little touch. I always buy things I never will- I never ever will use. Hey, I might use it something. What's the latest? <gasps> oh, I wonder if this is like a little bit of lore. Did Blanche know a uh, La Belle? <laughs> she said she just followed the school counselor's advice to it. You love and love what you do. Aww. Oh, I got a little nook mouth for that. <laughs> I should honestly have a day where I go exploring, like, um, all that stuff. Go explore the islands. Here, we'll, we'll take care of the, that other one I saw. Hooray. I love that you don't actually have to get the screenshot to... <laughs> to get the, the memory thingy. But anyway, this house is always so lovely. What school did she go to where the counselors are useful? Well, Peyton. I'm guessing Isabel worked as a counselor before she worked as a... <laughs> as like a secretary. 
This room's so cute. I love this. She sat down. She won't face me, but oh well, it's okay. <laughs> I guess I'll go now. Bye, Blanche. <laughs> but yeah. I thought today I could tell like some stories of like my animation journey and just the struggle that it's been. I've basically for the past few days have become nocturnal. It's not because I want to, it's just because that's what happened. <laughs> I had an alarm set today to wake up at like a decent time and everything, but no, it was not meant to be. You know, wait. Before I go on, I want to go talk to my villagers. Hooray. Where did Savannah just go? I just saw her. How is she gone? Where did she go? Did she just teleport away because... Good evening, T. Don't you love an evening? Huh? I want to chat. A little for sure never fails to cheer me up. That's sweet. There she is! Aw, oh, Savannah, I'm sorry. I love you. Oh. Alright, chat. There have been rumors going on around me? Oh my gosh. Well. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm a superstar? That came here to escape it all? Hmm? <laughs> also, yeah. Again, here's the update on the, the rock process. We'll see how, you know, quickly this works out. It'll either work in time for, I guess, Christmas Eve. Or it won't. Let's see, 19, 20, 20, 22, 20. Yeah, it'll either be ready on the 23rd or the 24th, so that makes me super happy. I do stay up as late as I can, though. Yeah, she has her internships. Yeah, I... I've just been working really hard on that animation. I really want to have it ready, you know, in time. Not just for Caretaker Egg, but also for, you know... You guys all enjoy. It's kind of my little Christmas present to you, in a way. Sort of. <laughs> Just know that there's a lot of love and affection going into it, and it's it's gonna be pretty epic. Ah, it's the bathtub. All right. Wait, how much money do I have? Oh, I do not have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I get why you can't take money out of this, but you know. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take 80,000 out because Agnes needs her home taken care of, and so does Lolly. Um. Actually, wait. Sorry, I need to check. I think Maple might need a little bit of an update too. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so let's see. Agnes needs it. I know these two are good. So Agnes needs a wreath. Let's go check if Maple needs it. Maple needs a wreath, but let's go inside her house anyway, because it's very cute. The real question is, why is there no loan system where Tom Nook gives you money that you can pay back later or never? Well, there is a loan system. We've just passed it already. Hi, Maple. No! How do I turn this light back on? No. Oh. <laughs> no. 
No! Ah, darn it, I've turned the light, let the light off. Well, she didn't need that light anyway, I guess. Oh, her window's covered in snow, that's so cute! Alright, so we need Maple, we need Agnes, and we'll need to do Volley. I think that'd be a good, a good little start. So, let's go run back on over to the... Whitney's house is covered though, right? Yes, it is. Amazing. And then, maybe we'll even like give them a bit of a Christmassy interior, so that everybody kind of has like a little bit of festivities going on. Here. Here's what I'll do. Here. And instead of... Perfect. Now let's go take care of, uh... The first, like, basic ones. Let's talk homes. Resident home. <laughs> So we're just gonna start off with like taking care of people whose houses are already done so let's just go straight to Agnes and we'll even decorate her interior a little bit. We'll give them like a, a little festive wreath and then we'll do a little bit of interior decorating maybe put some lights up or a few stockings like not overwhelmingly change it but just give it like a festive sort of feel. We'll start with the X tier. That's the that's what we're here for right now. I have no intention on changing the uh like the actual house itself. Let's go to the interior and, and fix that up. It should not take long. Like, this should be like a, a few minutes of just kind of adding a couple details and making it cute. So let's go in and we'll add a few little Christmas Eve vibes. Let's see. First, we'll start with wall mounted things because that's where we're gonna find Christmassy stuff. So, I feel like Agnes would have like kind of elegant socks maybe? Yeah, she would have elegant. Okay, well that looks a little silly. But they could go like... perfect, like kind of... Yeah, we'll put them like... <gasps> oh wait, that's cute! And then let's see if we can get like a little toy day tree sort of set up. I might- that might be at like the very bottom, I'm guessing. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so now we've got- here we go. I feel like she would have like kind of the silly little pink tree, but nah. I think she'd have like a little red tree. That's cute. <laughs> we'll give her like a little... Nah, that's too much. And she just has like kind of like a little tiny one. Let's see if there's like any other lights we could do. Uh not really. It's kind of just the one thing of stockings. Okay. 
So yeah, that's that's pretty quick and easy to do. Let's see if there's like any little things we could do here as well. No? But like I know that there's like little mini toy day items that I have. Hmm. No? Like, beyond just the toys, like, I think there's, like, something, like, maybe a little bit of, like, the foods or something like that. Oh, good, I have, a, I have, like, a menorah. So I can make, uh, one of the other characters have some of that, too. The Yule Log. Is there a place to put the Yule Log? Perfect. Okay. Now she has like a little kind of Christmassy sort of vibe going. Now let's check, uh, let's check out our little progress here. So she has like her stockings up there. She has her little tree kind of like front and center. And there we go. It doesn't need to be much more than that, and then we can move on to the to the next villager. Cool. And this way she'll be all ready for the holiday season. So the next character is Maple. So Maple's also gonna have, uh, I think, a pretty cute setup. So come back here, Tom. Look, we're gonna do this again. Let's talk homes. So we're gonna do a residence home, and next we're gonna be doing Maple. So let's see if we can find her. There she is. Right at the top. How helpful is that? I think we'll just kind of take care of everybody's, like, Christmassy sort of, like, interior too today. Um, and also just take care of, like, her sort of as, like, a finale. We'll take care of Lolly. This will be really cute, like, to wake up the, the next day and just see that everybody's house is, like, all ready. Let's start with the exterior, because that's, like, kind of the big thing. Because, you know, we're going to be walking around and we're going to want to see... Like the the cute little the little wreath and everything. So they have their festive wreath, and then on the inside, I think we'll put like a, a few. Um, we'll probably put the celebratory candles. Kind of get a little bit of extra decorations, you know. Um, maybe also give them stockings. Kind of have like a little mix of everything. Especially since it might be tricky to sort of fit in a, uh, like, all sorts of stuff. So let's see how, like, this little tree does. You know, we can put this little tree, like, back here. Maybe we could even do, like, a big tree. Oh, well, that's a little bit too big. <laughs> so yeah, we'll do a little tree. That's not what I meant to do. I did not need to do that either. But, I can now decorate this. So, we gave Agnes a red tree. I feel like Maple would like a really, like a little white kind of Christmassy tree. Actually, nah, that would be way more Whitney. I think Maple would kind of want like the colorful one. And then let's see if we can get her some candles. Or does she have like a little spot for candles even? Well, we'll make it happen. This would fit in really nicely. Hmm. I really was efficient with the space, wasn't I? <laughs> Well, we'll kind of just sort of put it up there. 
by the window. We'll move her little ottoman over. Or what we could also do? Nah. We'll also need to get in some, uh, what's it called? We'll put the stockings up. What do you think Maple would like for her stockings? Oh, this one has a little bear on it. Ooh, no, she'd like the natural ones. That's very maple-y. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to do what I can to not have, like, too much be moved around. Sort of, kind of keeping it the same. Oh, here we go. Put, like, the stockings behind the... That wall a little bit. Like, it's still Christmassy. But, you know, it's... It doesn't change much. There we go. And that's all we really have to do. And then... There we go. <laughs> and now we'll move on to... Uh... I think what we'll do... Is we're going to also make, uh... Like the other villagers' houses, like the same kind of deal. Like they all have wreaths, but I kind of want to actually like decorate their houses. And luckily, in in this universe, it's like it's pretty simple. So let's see. Let's talk homes. <laughs> Yes. So I immediately want to go to like Whitney and kind of take care of that. I just really want to give her like a really big like white Christmas tree. You know, because she's a bit more established. So kind of give her like the whole shebang. Make her elegant, make her a little gaudy even. But still chic. I hope everybody's having a good little uh, holiday season and getting all cozy and everything. We'll start with, I guess we'll check the exterior really quick and make sure that, you know, she has the wreath. She should. Um, okay, so. Uh... Correct, okay. Let's plan the interior! <laughs> Alright, so first we're gonna start with, uh... I guess we'll do the set of stockings. What type should we do? Wait, she's gonna pick she. Okay, like that's just true. That's just how it is. And it looks like we have like a. Oh, you know what? We actually have a solid spot. Maybe even. Hmm. Yeah. We'll put them by the fireplace. Are there any, like, available spots? No, I don't think so. Like, that's miscellaneous now. Uh, let's see. Big tree. I think she would want the big tree. And it'd be like a big white Christmas tree. I could put it there and cover up half the entrance. She wouldn't be able to sit down, but I feel like sitting doesn't matter. <laughs> she has her bed, she could sit on the floor. Nah. We'll do just like a tiny festive tree, but it'll still, you know be pretty and stuff. Uh, 
we'll put it like up here. So she has like space to walk in. She simply just. Or you know what? Hmm. I'm trying my best, like, not to change like the whole house up. <laughs> And I don't want to, like, cover everything. I guess this is kind of just the best spot it can be. But it doesn't feel right. So you know what? I know what I'll do. In this case, we will kind of make adjustments. Just to fit it. <laughs> Like, it's- is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. But... There we go. And then we'll just kind of have the music sort of be over there since she's not gonna touch it. Because she won't. No. Oh boy, this is harder than I thought it'd be. But she deserves the big tree. Sorry I'm updating so much on my PC because it's been neglected during school. I'm not cozy, I'm freezing to death. Hopefully you're doing better than me. No! Do you have like cozy socks and maybe some hot cocoa you can make? <laughs> I'm afraid the only thing I can really do at this time is just put the chair there. She'll have like some space to walk through and she can sit on her chair and everything, but she'll just have the giant tree as well. Also, this is like completely covered now, so I'm gonna have to move this to like over here. There we go. There, it's slightly more Christmassy. Her room was a lot more packed than I expected it to be, but we survived. I even left my door open all day and it did nothing. Let's see, I'm wearing a hoodie and fuzzy socks wrapped in my comfort, not much more I can do. I even left my door open all day and it did nothing. It's only gonna get colder la later this week. Wouldn't you want to, like, keep your door shut so that, like, you can trap the heat in there, maybe? Oh my gosh, a frozen sculpture? Okay, listen. Nah, it's too much. <laughs> But it would be cool to make, like, a little frozen sculpture. There. She can walk through. She can sit down. She can enjoy her tree. And that's that. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> All is done. There's no vent in my room, so there's nothing to trip. No! Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That's it! Alright, let's move on. We could really quickly, I think, do Bob's house. Um, and Rocco's. Oh, you know what will especially be important? Doing uh, Savannah's house. A residence home. See. Si. I 
Alright, let's do Bob. Kind of just go down the list. Get them all kind of updated. We know that Bob's house is all good, so we'll just focus on the interior. Ah, Bobby. Bob's... Bobsifer. <laughs> hmm. Well, if, I hope you can get like maybe an extra pair of socks, maybe an extra blanket or something. Uh, why is he wearing a suit? Well, it's Bob. He's he's a gentleman. He's a gentleman at night, you know. <laughs> Let's get down to business to make his house cozy. <laughs> so, Bob kind of likes pastel sort of styles. So I guess we'll do colorful for him. Because there's only so many options. Let's drop a little festive tree for him down here. We'll put it kind of by here. And I feel like he would have... Um... I feel like he'd also have like a colorful tree. I don't think really there's room for a big tree. Yeah, there isn't. Oh well. He's got stockings, he's got that. I don't think there's like room to put like anything else on. And we're certainly not getting rid of his little ladybug friend. So yeah, I guess that'll do it for Bob. All done. Not really. Hooray! Bob is sorted. <laughs> Fitting he has the kids' room too, originally. Yeah, I wanted to kind of combine like his lo love of food, but also his kind of chill and goofy personality. So let's talk homes again. We're gonna do Rocco next. Whoops. Let's see. Rocco! And then after this, we'll do. Um, I think we'll do Savannah. And then we'll do Poppy. Blanche is good. I feel like Blanche wouldn't want to change much. I think she's less of an interior decorator and just more of a kind of enjoys the feel of everything around her, you know? Let's let's uh let's do the interior because his exterior is just fine. Rocco has a really cute house. It makes me happy. He would also, I think, have a big tree. This actually might be a good time to kind of change Rocco's house though a little bit. Because he talked about how he's not much of a cook. Rocco would have a big blue tree. I think. Yeah, he'd have the blue tree. Like, he's crafty, but I don't think... Mm, I don't know. Let's see. I really want to show up that, like, he actually, you know has made it to a degree of sorts, like he's, you know, just kind of enjoying 
his retirement and everything. So I guess it's like the best place to put the tree, kind of in the middle. And we'll give him the... No, not the cute ones, although that'd be adorable for him. We'll give him the cool stockings. I wish so badly that we could like kind of um I wish we could put like the stockings or just hang things onto like this wall that just has nothing on it. But I will take the few limitations we are, you know, handed. Oh, we'll put them like we'll put the stockings like down there. So like when we come and we can see them. They're just not like front and center. Very cute. He isn't much of a cook or anything. So maybe it's silly to have like all of this room taken up by this thing. But it's just so cute. But I don't know if it's really Rocco. I feel like Rocco would have like a really tiny kitchen at this point. So although I said I didn't want to change many things, I can also understand like if a character made it very clear that like it's kind of weird that I have this sink thing when I'm not particularly like the biggest cook. Then I will I will listen to that and I will change it and I'll make it, you know, a bit more accurate. Um, we'll put the bread up there. But this actually kind of allows us to put this tree up there. And then later, when Christmas is all over and everything, or Toy Day or what have you, um, then we can kind of come back and sort things out. And then Rako has like a little bit more space and you know we still have like his stuff and he could use the this little thing right here for like cooking little breads or something. Put that there. Put this by the tree. And there you go. Rako's house is a little bit more his style and when the holiday seasons are over we can take a bigger look at it. I'm all done. Why is there rock music? Bless his house this is so funny. Oh, never mind. Maybe it's your music. No, there's uh, the rock music is just his. Uh, their their musics are set to like shuffle so that they get like a wide variety. Afraid to plan out the exterior. There's no need to plan the exterior. We're all we're all set. <laughs> No, my music has been pretty consistent, so it's definitely just theirs. So then, uh, let's take a look at Savannah's house. Residence home. I love that you can just do as many as you'd like. Let's see, Savannah. And then after Savannah, we'll do Poppy. And then we'll move on to Lolly and kind of finish the whole, you know, think. I'm also pretty excited to do the big poll on whether or not I should do Sasha or Celia having them move in. Uh, I guess let's take a gander at the exterior, it should be okay. But we'll take a gander just in case. Yep, it's all good. Let's plant the interior! So if you guys remember, Savannah's house was pretty difficult for me. I had a lot of stuff to fit in there. So I'm really hoping that I have a little bit of space to work with. So let's take a gander. I already see the perfect spot to put, um... To put the, uh, stockings. Mm -hmm. 
Well, she would do colorful for her big bitch. Okay, I guess that kind of threw that idea out the window. I guess we'll just sort of... No, actually... Okay, well, we'll put them, the stockings down there, and we'll do a tiny tree, because, you know, when you're, uh, a little, you know, a, I guess a new mom, you might not have all the money for a big tree yet. So we'll take a little gander. There we go. We'll put, bring in the festive tree. And... I think that's a pretty good spot. It's... or maybe we'll even go, like, back here just block the baby. Pfft. Actually, no. We'll do it here. So you can still shimmy around over to the... to the baby. You know, technically, because Animal Crossing allows that. But what color tree should we do? No, it's not really. Eh. I feel like she'd do like a red tree. And then that's just kind of all we sort of can do. Maybe we'll do like a little... Oh, I got a cute little idea here. We'll give like them a little yule log. Let's see. Oh, but you can change the color of it. <gasps> oh! We'll do a little whipped cream topping. There we go. Of course she'd like make a little Christmassy dish. <laughs> and then yeah. Again, it's just supposed to be a little subtle. I think what I'll actually even do is, although I, you know, it kind of works over there. I think it'd look better there. Just to show that like, hey, Christmas is being thought about like when you come right in. So there you go. I think that's pretty good for, um... For her house. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. We're all done with Savannah. That's good. Uh, we're not gonna do the exterior because that's already handled. But now, we'll uh, we'll take a gander at who needs to be uh, fixed up. So I think it's Poppy. And then we're gonna do the new house. We'll do Lolly's house. And then we'll kind of... Then everybody should be, like, up to speed with, like, the, the holiday season. So, once more we'll do, uh, just, like, kind of a catch-up house. You know, make that all Christmassy or, or Hanukkah or whatever. And then we'll be ready to do Lolly's house. And, of course, with Lolly, we'll also keep that in mind. And, of course, you guys will get to pick how, um... Lolly's house goes. So that, that'll be really fun. So I've come up with a couple ideas for what Lolly's house will be like, based on like a personality we're gonna give her. Um, so I'm really excited to see what you guys think in terms of what we should do for this. So I'm thinking maybe we'll have like her be kind of like a influencer maybe a streamer a gamer of sorts perhaps um and then i i was also thinking we could do like maybe um another sort of college -y student kind of character in the area but i'm kind of nervous to have like two of those like her her house is already you know adorable but I feel like we could make it a bit more like personality driven 
But yeah, this is Poppy's house. So first we're gonna start with a set of stockings. I think we'll give her... I think she'd also like natural. Because she is a, a squirrel and that is the, the only reason for me choosing that. So I think that'll go good down there for starters. And then I think instead of like the hay bale, I think we'll give her also um, a little yule log. Or even, yeah, because we can give her like a little chestnut little style. That'd be adorable. And then I think in the corner we'll throw in a little tiny festive tree. And in terms of the colors, I think we're gonna go red because, you know, it's poppy. It's sort of like her vibe. And yes, it blocks like one of the couch spots, but I think that'll be okay. It's just, you know, for the little season here. And I think what we'll do is we'll take this. <gasps> Did not mean to do that. Oh boy. This is... No, that's not what I meant to do either. Ah, it's all falling apart. Here. We'll move her little... Hup. There we go. That's sorted. And then we'll give her a, a little bit of holiday can candles. There we go. And we can uh, change the color. And I think the clear pick here is uh, light brown because it fits her color scheme a little bit more nicely. And yeah, that's literally all we have to do um, for Poppy. Such a cute house though. I adore it. Yeah, she's got an adorable little setup here. Cool. Alright. Now... Um, I think that's everybody, so we're going to move on to the final character. I think. So, we don't need to plan the exterior. So here, I will... I'll change the stream title. View, viewers pick. Final villager house. Customization. And I'll change it to playing. Here, viewers. Update! Okay. Okay, so now let's just talk to Tom Luck again. Let's talk homes. A residence home. Either for an existing pitch or maybe a new one. Yes. So let's see. Rock has been sorted. Blanche has been sorted. These, they... Okay, everybody's been brought up to speed. Except Lolly and Nate will be replaced eventually. So we're just not even gonna bother with him. He's gonna be the Grinch this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so here's like we're gonna do like we'll start with like the whole you know setting up like lolly's exterior and everything uh, and then we'll kind of go in and we'll start talking about what's her personality, who is she going to be. I'm really feeling like between like kind of... Like I'm kind of debating between like the... The the Instagram model kind of e-celeb or like an epic gamer girl kind of... You know, influencer of sorts. So we have some good options. I'm gonna start by picking, like, uh... What would be, like, kind of a good starter idea for, like, how her house should be. You know, she's like a... like a gray little kitty. And she's got... You know... Little... little, like, black features, like, little... Like black stripes, and her eyes are like all big, cute, 
black eyes and like her tail's got a little black tip. So I kind of want to do a mix of that. But she's also got a little bit of white on her. With like the area around her mouth. So it's kind of good to keep that in mind. Oh, that's adorable. And then if we could get like a gray door of sorts. Right now I'm just sort of playing with the colors. I'll ask you all, the viewers, if you think that's a good pick for her house at the end. Let's see, are any of these doors like gray, maybe? And some of that's gray, that's like blue. That's also not really gray. Well, that one's gray. The gray is such a sad color. <laughs> hmm. Might want to do just like kind of a white door sort of feel. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's your no. Um, this is tricky. Let's take a gander at like the other house idea. I want to pick like a, you know, a cute idea. That's sort of gray. This is gray too, but I feel like it's almost too much. I feel like the door should kind of be kept the same though. Like with the, like the window door, like this. Hmm. This is cute, but I don't like the brown with the, like, the brown brick or the trimming. Like, this one's kind of cute, but I feel like it's too similar to other ones I've picked in the past. And the wooden siding's a little bit meh. I don't think any of the other houses have a gray stucco exterior. I don't even think Rocco's does. So. Let me first put on like the little wreath so that we see how that kind of looks with everything. Maybe it, we could have like a little white roof of sorts? Oh, we could only have like the gray slate roof. The only white roof we could have is like this kind of yucky sort of looking metalish roof. Hmm. What do you guys think so far about this? I don't think I need to make a poll or anything. Maybe this would be adorable? Oh wait! What do you think of like this black and white panel siding? I feel like that, paired with like this slate roof, could be pretty cute. Maybe the gray would fit better though. And then we go for like a sharper kind of top. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick. I could also look for like these different things. Because there's not a lot of other houses in this town that have, like, this style. I don't really feel like it fits her. Now, none of these are really speaking, like, lolly to me. Maybe I could have, like, a bit of a Japanese style house for her, but I don't know. Like, if you guys have suggestions for, like, the type of house I should do. 
That'd be cool. Hmm. But we already kind of have that. Like, I kind of would want to keep it like to either this or this sort of vine. This is tricky. <laughs> Light gray cobblestone could work, but if we have like a black door, and maybe like a black wooden tile roof, or maybe a black slate roof, even. Ooh, that's actually quite cute. Hmm. This is quite tricky. I feel like this would be like a good fit though. So guys, I'm gonna start my first little poll here. So we're gonna start with the house type. We've kind of spent a little bit like looking at each. So we'll kind of go for like house or mm hmm. I don't know what you would call those. Okay, I got it. So we have like wooden house or stone house. And what you guys will get to do is when the poll comes up, is you can pick the answer that you feel kind of fits. So I'll start that poll right now. You have two minutes to sort of pick which one you think would be better. So on the left here we have the wooden house. This isn't necessarily final, but this is the general idea of it. And on the right here we have the stone house. Again, not final, but I think both of these are pretty close to what, you know, it, uh, it might end up looking at the end of the day. The wooden house is a little bit more pointy. I feel like the colors kind of um, really brings out like sort of like the gray. Like it's a nicer gray than typical. Um, but for the for the stone house, you know, uh, there's a few charms of the stone house. Like it's a little bit more round. Um, we have a cute little light at the top, which is I, th I think pretty cute. And I think we have a, a nicer sort of like black roof than we'll get with the wooden house. But the wooden house, you know, it has like a little bit of everything. But the stone house, like I think it does every single part it has to do really well. So it's kind of just up to preference. Like I think if I were picking, hmm, maybe I would, you know, it's kind of hard. Like, I feel like I would probably pick the stone house at the end of the day. But it does look a lot like others that I've done. So I feel like the wooden house might actually fit Lolly in this case. There's a lot of benefits to both. But at the end of the day, it's up for the viewers to decide. So feel free to vote in that poll. It's going to be closing soon. So get your opinions in there. And we'll see what we'll, what we'll do. But yeah, I, I like the wooden house, I like the stone house both. Uh, so I'm really glad that we kind of get a chance to sort of pick which one uh, Lolly will be in. So it looks like the wooden house wins. So let's take another gander, see if there's anything we could improve. Maybe a, the black slate roof would be a little bit nicer. The tile roof has, like, I think a better looking texture, but the color just isn't as dark. The black slate roof is pretty nice on its own, too. Like, I would prefer, I think, the tile roof texture, but I think the color of, like, the black slate roof does better. So I'll once again kind of put the a poll up to you guys. So you have the tile, 
or the slate roof, and we'll make it a one minute pull. Let's go. So again, here's the black slate roof. It's it's a little bit flatter. Uh, the color's a lot stronger though. And here's the black tile roof. Um, it kind of blends in with the wood, but the texture, you know, I feel like there's something to enjoy about that too. At night, I think, oh boy, it sure does blend in, but the black slate roof will absolutely stand out. So honestly, I feel like if I had to pick for this one, I'd probably pick the slate roof. As much as I like the texture of the other one, the slate one I feel like also kind of, in a way, better represents Lolly as well. You know, it's kind of stripy. Not that the other one isn't, but this one's like, you know, kind of more perfect, thicker stripes, while the other one is kind of a bit more bumpy for the tiles. And it looks like the slate is going to win at the poll. So yeah, we're going to be doing the slate roof. The siding... I feel like... I feel like just the gray panel siding kind of just makes sense for Lolly. <laughs> She's gray, she kind of has that sort of taken care of, so we'll stick with that. Let's see. And I think maybe we'll keep like this little white door the same. Because there's a lot of doors to choose from. But I feel like there's only a couple that really sort of work with everything. And I feel like this white window door kind of sort of gives a fluffier feeling, if you know what I mean, than it would have otherwise. And at night, this just looks wonderful. Like, the white door and, like, the black roof just really pop against the gray. And I think that's what we're kind of going for. So, yeah. I think I think that looks really good. So, let's, let's go with that. And, of course, we have, like, our little festive wreath here. Do I not have... Okay, I'm gonna need, like, to get an ornament wreath one day. I'll have to just craft it. <laughs> but that's okay. So yeah, that's a good design, I think. So let's get working on the interior. So here's like the big thing. I've already made it, I think, pretty clear that Lolly is going to be like um, somewhat of a person that works a bit more like on the internet or things like that. Her house like right now is very simple. It's definitely not bad. I think there's like a lot of things we can work with. But I feel like it'd be cool to give her like this... You know, she's just so cute and sweet. I feel like her being, you know, like one of those like cute like anime girly streamers. I think that'd be an adorable sort of thing. She could also, I was thinking, maybe be a writer of sorts. My only problem with that is Poppy and Mabel are already kind of into writing so I feel like I would want to go in a different direction with Lolly just to make it a little bit more diverse on the island so this next poll is going to kind of dictate how I decorate so gamer girl <laughs> influencer Uh, we could also, like, I don't think I would want to do academic with her because we kind of have that covered with, um, Agnes. So, like, if we go over what we have, we have, like, kind of a motherly character, which is Savannah. She has, like, a family set sort of going on. We have Rocco, so we have, like, an, like kind of an elderly person on the island in a way. Bob is sort of like goofy, kind of kiddish in a sense, but he's also like just, you know, he's got like that cooking chef side to him. We have like Poppy and Mabel who are both kind of our readers. And then we have I Blanche who's kind of like just super into like the Japanese style and culture. So I feel like, um, uh, Maybe having her be a gamer girl or like, you know, 
Instagram model sort of influencer kind of type could be an interesting con contrast. Um, but if, of course, if she's like a gamer girl, then her setup might be a lot different than if she was like an influencer. So we'll do like a two minute poll on that. Or we'll just also have another option. And you can just comment in like the chat if you have a really good idea. Um, and we can talk about this further since she is like the last one we'll be thinking about for right now. Like if it's Sasha or if it's Celia, no matter what, their idea for their homes is already in my head. I already know what I'm going to be doing for them. Um, but if, but for Lolly, you know, there's a bit of wiggle room. So I'm going to start that poll now. Um, and while that starts, I will be kind of focusing a bit on just kind of figuring out like what stays and what goes. Of course, we'll keep her crafting table. Uh, We'll probably change the kitchen a little bit. But I like her stool, it's very cute. Her house is very organized. Almost too organized. But yeah, check out that poll. Gamer girl, she would have like a lot of gaming equipment, like uh, TVs and stuff. She'd have probably like, like merchandise or things like that. Influencer, she'd probably have like more clothes items, um, maybe mirrors, like really good lighting, uh, and I feel like she'd probably have like a really nice sort of kitchen where she could do like her, like, making her fitness shakes or whatever, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but if you have a different suggestion, I feel like it'd be cool. Now, personally, I think I would pick the gamer girl. I feel like that'd be a really interesting kind of sneaky side to Lolly that she doesn't really show. And I feel like it just kind of genuinely would fit her because she's like she's a good cook, but she's also just like really into video games. And I feel like that'd be really fun. Uh, but the influencer could also super easily fit. She's, you know, a cat, I feel like in media cats are typically thought of as like like you know probably one of the most fun to draw animals I will put it as that <laughs> uh, so what if she d was a bit of both yeah probably will be a bit of both like I think it'll kind of blend together but whichever one took the lead yeah so we're doing game girl So that'll be fun. So she'll have like, she'll have like a Nintendo Switch Lite. I love that they have a gray one. She'll have, you know, a Nintendo Switch. She'll have the Animal Crossing one. Uh, we'll have to get her gaming PC. Let's see, where's the... It's gonna take a second, I guess, to find, like... Oh, there it is. Okay, this will be really cool to pick. Like, what will her setup be? I feel like it'd be white, and she'd have, like... First person, third person game. Yeah, I feel like she'd pick the like the online role playing game. I feel like that'd be a bit more her style. So let's also get her her gamer chair. <laughs> kind of make her fit in a little bit. So let's see, black kind of has like a bit of purple with it. But we'll do white. 
this will be cool. And it also just kind of gives us an opportunity. Like, I like to imagine that Lolly would play video games with me on this island. And I think this actually kind of makes me like her a lot more. Just because, like, it actually is, like, somewhat of a different personality than what she was kind of exhibiting, you know? Of course, we'll put in, like, her stockings. But I think first, we'll deal with, like, okay, she's... You know, she's got stuff going on. What can we put in here? So I think she'd have like this LED display. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do my little design thing. Cool. This is really cute. And maybe there's like a chance that she'll like come sit on it. Oh, there we go. And then we can kind of like put like lights up all around her room. I'd always wanted to do that like on, in my room, but like just kind of doesn't fit. Okay, so it has to be like up one. Let's move these all down here. I don't... Uh, she can be stylish and a gamer. I don't because of the amount of people saying they attract spiders. No thanks. What attracts spiders? Let's see. Okay. And then like on this little stool, she could kind of have like, uh, the lights, the way they press up against the wall for those height of strips. Oh. I see. Well, luckily, the spiders in this game don't go inside, so hooray. Let's kind of put like these things over there. And then of course like she has like a little chilling area to like watch TV. <laughs> and I feel like we're gonna... I think we'll have some fun with like the design of this. Like, there's already a bit of like a black and white theme kind of going, and I absolutely intend on kind of keeping that up. But I also want to make it kind of cutesy. So I want there to be like little, uh, what's it called? I want there to be also like, uh, the name is escaping me right now as so I'm like thinking and doing at the exact same time. Like, I want her to have, like, little plushies and stuff in the room. Kind of something cute like that. So we'll see how this goes. The way you looked up, me too, paranoid. Yeah! Oh my gosh. Like, the thing is, like, at school, like, the... My room over there, I have lights up. So for just, just that moment, I was like... F little fear. Just a bit. But I know what floor could be really cool. <coughs> a galaxy floor. Ooh. I haven't been able to use a galaxy floor anywhere else, and I feel like this is the perfect place to do it. So I hope this will be cool. Now 
I kind of don't like the ones that, like, like the the walls that have like kind of mm, like outdoor setting designs on them. Well, I think they're like a cute idea. I think they can often be a little tricky. Oh, this is really cute. I really feel like Lolly would have like a little bit of wood though. Just a tad. Yeah, I think she'd have like this black hallway wall. Hold on. Alright, the white brick wall goes there. Ah. I think I like this a lot more. And then for like the flooring, we can kind of work around it. Like, I feel like all around would be like this, this kind of floor style. But then here, it's different. Nah. That would be different. And then... And then maybe give her a little bit of like, kind of like a... What? And then look at that, just like a little galaxy kind of style. Or maybe... Hmm... Nah, no, this doesn't really work too good. Oh wait, but they also have like a little square tile. So I could still do it. I just have to... Oh, that's why it can't, because of that carpet right there too. Honestly, if you clean your room enough, you should be fine. That's the reason I sweep once a week. Most people don't tend to keep up with cleaning. Yeah, I I, I know in university, I was one of those people. <laughs> cleaning can be a little hard sometimes. Not because it's like a difficult challenge or anything, but just because sometimes you just lose the will to do it. <laughs> Your fear drives you. I feel like I just gotta accept the galaxy flooring. I just want to hear how it kind of sounded. <laughs> well, we'll see how that kind of goes a little later. Or maybe what might be better... ...is sort of this. Kind of have like this, like the little TV watching corner. You know, you like live and stuff down here, and you got like your little track and everything down there. Hmm. 
I need like a bigger table. I need like a two thing long table. But like a nice table. Hooray. Hmm. Okay, this this galaxy flooring is cool, but I see why I kind of struggle to use it. I feel like we'll just sort of stick with maybe like a brick flooring or something like that for the moment. Of have that there. Feels a little bit less like she's drifting into outer space. <laughs> she kind of has like her own little working area down here. I guess she wouldn't need the switch and this dock as well, so we'll just kind of keep that confined to like one area. And then... I think like up here, we'll have like her little sleeping area. And kind of like Bob, I, I think I want to sort of play with the idea that she's a cat. <laughs> so maybe we'll give her kind of a cozy sort of environment, like but also like a little pet bed. <laughs> I feel like having some sort of pattern. It's like black and white would be cute. Yeah. There, now she has like a little chill spot too. So if she likes to sit to gain, you know, she can. I think she would have like a cute wardrobe. Or maybe not, they're all kind of ugly looking. Oh, I'll be, she already has like a little dresser anyway, so no need for that regardless. <laughs> and then for like a bed... I think she would just appreciate like the wooden simple bed. There we go. <laughs> and then she needs like a little spot to kind of cook and do that because she loves cooking. So I would love to do something like that. Give her like a really nice cooking spot. Yeah, like the system kitchen. I really want to incorporate this stool because it's really cute. I think I'll put it by there. And the clock... 
We'll go by here. So she has an idea of how she is on time. Or you know what? We'll put the system kitchen here. And we'll kind of put that there. This way it's kind of like her little area. But like maybe like at the, the roof here. We have a way of sort of blocking it so it's not like a gigantic deal. Let's see. Maybe like this pattern's kind of her brand or something. There we go. And there's other things we can add. Um, I feel like she'd have like some sort of here. Yeah, we'll just put that like kind of behind there. Fill this in. I feel like she'd have like a lot of autograph cards because of, you know, just where she'd be. I actually kind of don't like the handprint thing, so I think we'll just do signatures and kind of keep it at that. Like, I want her to be, like, focused on, like, getting famous and, and, and doing that kind of cute stuff. <laughs> Let's see. So let's see, she's got like... Maybe we can actually add instead. Like maybe we could add this like wall. Oh, but that's kind of also bad because then the window is there and then it's like, oh, thanks for the space. <laughs> yeah. That's a little tricky. That's a little not poggy. Oh. Well, if we do it like right up against the window. Then there you go. But I don't like that the window's cut off. Nah. That's a bad idea. However, this is actually a really cool idea. It kind of separates everything. Yeah, this is cool. And then we can have her cat bed be kind of like at the foot of her bed, so it's like a little spot for her to kind of get cozy. Hmm. I feel like she would have like a photo of herself. Or at least, like, a picture. Hmm. <gasps> Thank goodness I actually have Lolly's poster. Hooray. Ooh, she kind of likes mint. So maybe we can incorporate that somehow.
And I feel like the color is gonna come from like the decorations around the house. So I think it's really important that we kind of have a colorful sort of set of things. Whether that be from the carpet that we pick, which we need to pick something cute, I know that. Hmm. Like, she screams like, I'm a little bit quirky, you know. I think. And I kind of just want another excuse to use like this this must this little must thing. So we're gonna do that, and on like the wall, we're also going to have like a lot of plants. I like to think that like this little thing. I think it'll have like a little bit of catnip or something like on that, just because I think that'd be way cuter. Actually, instead of the clock being there, we'll have like her plushies like be here. So she kind of has like that on display. And then we'll have a little... Hmm. I feel like she'd have some sort of party garland somewhere. Nah. This'll be where she puts her stockings. And I think she would have like... I think she'd also have colorful stockings. I know I wanted to like get the base idea before I worked on the like the Christmassy parts, but I just feel like I gotta kind of think about this now. So we'll put this in. Oh, and she definitely have like a crane game or something in there. There's like this big phase on YouTube. Where it's like everybody was doing like these crane game videos. And they were popular, but they were kind of scummy. But maybe Lolly was kind of a part of that. Ooh. Ooh. But where would we put this thing? And it's kind of big for that. I think we'll have to get rid of this thing. Give her a uh, little combat game. Hmm. Oh, here, I know what I'll do. Give myself a little bit of extra room. Then I could just imagine she'd like have wires like sort of running down on the side. And that would kind of give her a bit of space. We'll put her plushies like more up here. Put her love for her country up there.
And then she'd have like her own little like gaming dome. <laughs> and then here. So it's a little bit less of a whole thing. Let's see. Then she can kind of keep this. <laughs> and then she can have like her little alarm clock by her stool. And then, I would like to... Hang up her little sweater. I'm gonna go because I'm super tired, but have fun decorating the rest of her house. Thanks for joining me on my stream today. I hope you sleep well. Have a good night. Let's see. Let's see, we can kind of put like this poster up here. I think that'd be kind of cute. And let's see. We'll have... Hmm. So now we have like a little bit of extra space. Let's go ahead and put ourselves... Uh, or give ourselves a little... A tree. Maybe she could actually have like a big festive tree because, I don't know, she's a successful gamer? Nah, it's a little bit too big. And I think for her tree she could also have like a, a white tree. And then... Let me take a little walk through and see how this is holding up. Then she kind of has like all of these things. This is really cute. So let's take a little gander at like what her light could be like. Oh boy. Let's see, what's this plant like? We'll put that there, we'll put the Christmas tree there. A little plant here. And let's see what we can add at the top to make it a little bit nicer. A 
what are the other options? We'll also have, I think, some hanging shelves that maybe I could do, like, like some black hanging shelves here. Let's see. And then I could do, like, I could give her like these little things. Little garland. Didn't really fit. But this disco ball could be really cute. And then let's get some lights in here to, to really seal the deal. Look at that. I think it's actually kitted out pretty nicely. It's kind of different in a way. Now what should her last rug down here be? Maybe this little cute kind of Mario rug? I like it. My only problem is that it doesn't really line up too good, so let's try a different one maybe? Hmm... And then we could kind of do... Maybe this little simple mat down here? Yeah, that seems to work pretty well. So I guess we'll stick with that one. And there we go. Hmm. What do you guys think? Do you think this is a good setup for our our little little establishment here? We even have the stockings and like the the kind of crimacy things all set up. Oh girl. <laughs> the two genders, girl and bird. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is really nice. I think it kind of absolutely mixes like kind of e-celebrity with uh, with like kind of gamer girl references and stuff. I think that's really cool. I like the lighting in here too, it's just very cool. And she got to keep like the majority of her like original things, which I think is a bonus. Let's see if we can hang her favorite thing up a little bit. Kind of have that there. I like this. I think this is 
it's actually a really cool design. And then you get to polish everything. So of course we kind of get to have like that. A little bit of polish there. Maybe we'll make the... We'll make some butterflies appear, but first we'll do some steam shine. And then we'll do a little bit of butterflies at her thing here. I actually feel like maybe it'd be cool if we kind of gave her... ...some butterflies at her chair. funny to like sort of have not nah, actually nah hmm oh I like giving the uh the workbench butterflies too but would it be really cool? Would be if this car thing had like... That's too much. There we go. That's nice! And then I could add like, just to make it a little bit extra festive, I'll add a little, um... Yule log on the... on the... onto the ding. The ding there. What type of Yule log should we do? Hmm... I feel like she'd like a strawberry one. This is awesome! Oh my gosh, her house actually turned out so cute. I was really nervous to do Lolly's house, but now I feel like a little bit of a connection with her that I don't think I felt before, so that's cool. But anyway... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So let's take a little gander. So of course over here we have like our kitchen set up and it's really nice because things can cool off by the window. We have like her little Christmas celebration section, but it's not like, you know, a big deal. We have a really nice little cozy area for her to like watch TV and play with her Christmas present from last year. But then you come back here and it's like, oh, this is what she does, you know, she's ready to game it out, you know, she's doing like her online stuff and she has like a little bit of that going on and the... That's sticking through the TV, but I don't know, maybe I'll fix that in a second. And then she's got like a really cozy place to sleep at the end of the day, with like a little bit of pop of her favorite books. Because she is a normal villager, so she does, like, enjoy reading quite a bit. But I like to think she's also just interested in, like, science and stuff at the same time. Let's see if I can, you know, maybe switch this somewhere. Put that there. So, like, she still has, like, her little, uh, her poster and everything. Like, her personality is all, like, still there. Mm. Mm, this is tricky.
Well, that doesn't really solve the issue. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, I think that's pretty cute. Honestly, though, mm, I know it sticks through, but I just feel like that belongs there. This goes really good there. and Like, yeah, it sticks through, but you're not gonna notice it unless you're looking for it. And if you do, just, we'll just pretend. Like, we can use our imaginations, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah. I think with that, that about does it. I think this is Lolly's house. This is lovely, I love this. I think this suits her pretty well too. So anyway... All done! Yeah! <laughs> and now... I think to wrap up the stream, I want to do a little Christmas photo shoot with my characters on my island. Because that's something that I was challenged to do before. Let me just make sure that was the case. Let's see. Let's see. As you all know, Caretaker Egg made me um, a little advent calendar. Let's see. 15. Okay, yeah, here we go. So my challenge for the 15th was to uh, do a little Christmassy or wintry photo shoot. So I'm going to do that now. Also, haha, the capybara bathtub. But with this, let's go head on over to, um... To the island. To Harvey's Island. And we're gonna do a little wintry photo shoot. Wintry photo... There we go. I've also updated the stream so that it says, you know, it's it's the right title and everything. I want to fly. I want to visit Harv's Island. And it's time for takeoff. Yeah, we're going to make a cute little wintry scene. Um, I'm thinking like a little cozy fireplace with like a you know, some sort of like, like couch setting and everybody's gonna be dressed up ready for, you know, Christmas and then and, and the holidays, the wintry times. Toy day. I guess this would also be a good chance to explore. Let's see, are there any cute little... <gasps> Ooh, a pleather handbag. I'll take that. It might be really close to all of these villagers closing, so I really wanted to grab these things before I, uh... Before I go. I love the little logos on the on the doors. I like how they kind of have like this one has um like a little skunk tail. <laughs> Kix is like one of the, the cutest little villagers. I feel like he deserves more credit. Uh, I think that's. 
it's all though. Let's see what carpets are available here. Oh, palace wall. Sahara's desert. <laughs> That's cute. I guess I'll take a, a palace wall. That'd be cool. So yeah, there we go. I'm I'm excited. I can't believe I actually got to do all that. It feels a lot later in the day for me than it really is. But no matter. So I'm thinking we don't want like a massive room, so let's just check out like the left side room, see what's kind of going on here, and then we'll kind of come back. Oh yeah, this was cute. One time I made like a little slumber party. And then... I think I'll leave it. I like the idea of just sort of keeping the little cutesy slumber party. Man, this used to be my bed! Like, like this bed in the... Like the back corner here, like the simple wooden bed. Oh my gosh, the memories. I won't touch that room, I'll leave it the way it is. <laughs> Let's see. I think the right side is kind of where we can like kind of mess around. Oh yes, this was nice. I know. Well, let's just start with this. Bye bye. Okay. First thing, there's only one wallpaper that I feel like can really capture the the Quimus spirit. And that's this falling snow wall. And then... Then we'll have like... I think we'll get like a really big colorful uh, Christmas tree. Neil. It's gonna be all the way down here. And then we'll also have like, I think on the sides, we'll have like a uh, cozy couches. And then I think in like the very back we'll have like a table. Like some tables that'll go along and they'll have like a... Uh... Yeah, this will be cute. But they'll have like a... Uh, some like Christmassy things displayed on it. I'm sorry, Nate. I think I'm gonna go put Edgar in here, because he's also a big part of the channel. And I think he deserves to be recognized. And, you know, Nate's not even gonna be here for much longer. Like, after this whole arc is over, the next arc is move Nate out and get our new villager in. We've had enough photo shoots with Nate anyway. <laughs> We'll do, like, some of those. We'll put, like, uh... 
We'll put a U log in. There we go. Hmm. Let's see. Egg will stand there. I'll stand here. We'll have Agnes sitting in front of Rocco because Rocco and Agnes are good friends. And then we'll have... We'll have like... Maple and Lolly... Bob, and in the very front will be little old Poppy. And we'll kind of have it be like this. And I think we'll need like a nice rug to kind of go along with this, uh, this cute vibe here. Or, you know what, it'll actually just be better. Just a Christmas floor. I'm pretty sure I've crafted it once, so... Unless I haven't. Okay, I haven't crafted the Christmas floor. So you know what? We're just gonna make our own Christmas floor. That sounds great. Bob Dim Dump. You sure did prepare, didn't ya? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, this paradise planting thing looks pretty cute. We'll kind of trap them in there. But you know what? They'll kind of go like here. Actually, I feel like Agnes would be like really cute on the couch. Cause she's like a little, she's got a bit of a bigger head than Bob. So I feel like they'll do kind of like this. We'll kind of face them like this. We'll actually get rid of this side stuff. And then on the the wall. Why is this all the way down here? We'll have like... Uh... So the stockings will be up there. We'll have some... Here we go. We'll have some festive wreaths up here. <laughs> this will be really cute. And then we'll have like... Little roses kind of thing. Oh, this is precious. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this is! I love this!
Oh my gosh, this will be the cutest setup. Okay. No, I don't want to start wrap things up. I'm keep. I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> okay, let's start with little Poppy, the littlest of them all. <laughs> like I want them all to be like in really cozy outfits, like nice sweaters. Like some can be sort of holiday, some cannot. Just whatever sort of best fits their personality. Like maybe I could do like one where it's like you know. Um, their theme. But I feel like I want to do something... I don't know, something kind of festive. Oh, here's those. Like, those are cute sweaters, but I just feel like they're not gonna cut it for this. Hmm. I feel like she'd have like a really cute little outfit. <gasps> oh my gosh, what if Poppy's our little Santa? Wouldn't that be adorable? Or she could be like a little Christmas tree. Let's see, where's the festive dress? I... I'm pretty sure I own the festive dress. Aha, there it is. For a second she had me worry. But everybody could wear like the, the Santa hat. I think that'd be cute. Or maybe not. Actually, yeah, I think everybody will wear like the, the festive hat. She can have like the festive tree dress. Maple will have like. Yeah, that's really cute. They like, just instantly, like, she would want the big sweater. And then she'd have like her big old glasses on. Yeah. Now Bob, he would have one of the holiday sweaters on. Like, just immediately. That one makes him look nice. <laughs> Agnes, I know what she'd be wearing. She would be in the festive dress for sure. Or wait, you know what? Maybe she'd be in like the festive tree dress too. Yeah, maybe I think that would suit her better. Lolly would be in the festive dress though. Like, I feel like one of us has to be- Wait, no! Edgar and I will be, like, in the festive dress. Everybody else will be, like, in a Christmas sweater or something kind of like that. <sighs> Lolly could be adorable in the little reindeer outfit. I feel like I'll give the reindeer outfit to, like, one of the other characters, though. She's very fashionable. Hmm. <sighs> she would probably be at this. Yeah, she's kind of really, like, I think fashionable. I think that would fit her. <laughs> hmm.
Let's see. Maybe she would be in the reindeer dress. Kind of like a cute thing for her kid, you know? Savannah would probably do something sweet like that. Yeah, and I mean, also she's a horse, so I feel like that would just be adorable. Like her cute little reindeer dress. Yeah, that's precious. Very cute. Let's see, Whitney. Whitney would have something very elegant on, I think, during this time. You know, the thing is, Lolly actually always wears, like, the winter sweater kind of thing. So maybe that might be something to consider. Ooh. Hmm. She'd be, like, cute in everything. That's the thing. This Victorian dress is actually quite cute on her. <gasps> Wait a second, the satin dress. Maybe she would wear like kind of a white dress, sort of like for Christmas time. Tricky. <laughs> she does look so cute with this. I feel like she would wear something like this. Hmm. Nah. I want to save that for Egg and I. But maybe to kind of capture the feel of that, we could put her in something like this. Nah, that's not right though. <gasps> the sweater dress! But it's so plain. If only we had a red one of those. Hmm. This is a tough one. That's actually really cute. But 
Not exactly right. Maybe we have like a shirt that would do better. Oh, I think this one might be it. <laughs> Let me see like what other codes there are. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like the retro coat might be it. <laughs> oh wait! The poncho coat! Now that's too cute. She'd pick the retro coat. I know it. Yeah. Blanche. She's also just so elegant. I think that outfit works for her. Cute. Wait, does nobody have like the red one? <gasps> An opportunity! <laughs> if I can go with red, I'll go with red, you know? But then we have Rocco. Who is last but not least? Um. Now let's see. Aw, that's really cute on him. <laughs> let's see if there's anything else. I think he'd wear- yeah, I think he's going in the holiday sweater. <laughs> and then we've got Egg. We already know that he's gonna be like in um, a Santa hat. He's gonna have like the whole Santa outfit. So let's start by finding the Santa coat. And then we'll find the... There are Santa pants. Oh, there's the Santa pants. 
I was looking for like, I guess kind of, um, I don't know, like a, like a, just the black pants. I don't want to give him the beard, I kind of just wanted to be like, you know, kind of keep up the illusion for the villagers a little bit. Yeah, we'll do those. Are there no like Santa boots? Perfect, we'll do the wrestling shoes then. No. <laughs> we'll just go with um, these boots. Actually, the antique boots look a little bit cuter. Yeah, we'll do the antique boots. An egg will be holding on his back. None of that. So I guess he's just all done. And then I'll be wearing my little festive dress. Since I stole it from all the other villagers. <laughs> but hey, I keep the town running. So like I'm allowed. This is my this is what I do it for. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, it's gonna be... Oh, okay, there it is. Hooray! And of course, what time of year is better to wear uh, stockings? There's really, like, this one called stockings, and I'm gonna go for that one because that just makes sense. There we go. Stockings acquired. We'll do... we'll do the cuter, littler boots. Those are not the ones I'm again. That's cute. Where's the Santa hat? And let's see, uh, for the photo shoot, I think the octagonal glasses kind of do it a little better. Now for Egg and I, I think we'll, I think we'll have a little cute heart thing. I think for, I have some new emotes by the way. So I think I'll want to do, like... Maybe something kind of, like, a uh, little groovy. Oh, this is so cute! I could have all my villagers do a little dance together.
<laughs> we'll do a little... Actually, I'll have them both do the tada thing. Well, here you go. This will be so cute! This is adorable. And I think for them, instead of doing the say cheese... We'll also do like a little... I'll get rid of like a uh... Oh no, so here's like some cute little things. Oh no. We'll delete this one. Adorable. And with this, that'll be the end of today's stream. I hope you all enjoyed this one as we all get ready for the holidays. It's coming up real fast. Like I said, um, my animation, my upcoming movie is having a little countdown event on my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, yes, Twitter. <laughs> I think we all know how crazy Twitter is right now, but it is there still. Somehow. Um, but yeah. I will be back again tomorrow with another stream. Uh, we'll see how this week goes in general. But I cannot wait for the next stream. Uh, and I cannot wait to do another Let's Play of Raft. So we'll see when that happens again. Hopefully tomorrow. Maybe the day after. Not sure. But I love you guys very much. I'm gonna go work on the animation now. But I will see you all in the next stream. Tschüssi!